Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. Now yesterday we had a look at inserting something like a title block at a known 000 point. Um, but today I wanted to have a look at doing something similar but do it for a block where you ask the user for an insertion point. So same thing as I did before, I insert a module and I'm going to call it mod blocks and we'll do again like I did yesterday I'm just going to go through and type it all out I do have a block already created it's just a piece of sample text so we can go through and insert that um, and then see see obviously what happens with that so again I want to do a public sub um, and I'll say TN blocks Okay, now again, as I did before, so a dim inserted block as ACAD block reference. I'm just capitalizing the words. And then, so we say the inserted notes. Uh, yeah, inserted notes as a string, and then we set the inserted notes, the string for it. So it'll be C drive temp slash, and I called it something, and it's called block test. Okay, so that's the name of the block and where it where it lives. So we've defined now the inserted notes. Now, the insertion point is a variant because you're asking the user. It could be anywhere. Now, we define. We say the insert uh, insertion point is this drawing utility get a point and ask the user so where do you oops I just put that in, in inverted commas where do you want to insert the block so that's the question that'll come up on the command line set my error okay <clears throat> now like we did before, call uh, call TNO2. So it'll jump back. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to step through it and you'll see the command run and see all of the values as well. So uh, it'll be something handy for you to, to do yourself as well. So now we do the same thing like we did before. So set uh, inserted block is this drawing dot model space dot insert block so insertion point so from the user what's the insertion point the notes so inserted uh, notes and then one 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 zero for XYZ scale and rotation okay so to watch all of that we can also debug it so I can compile it doesn't look like there's area any errors on it if from here instead of pressing play you can press f8 so f8 steps through the script and it'll give you all of the values down the bottom here so at the moment nothing's happening so the inserted notes is defined and you can see down the bottom here in the locals window and to get to the locals window you go view and then locals window, so that'll that'll show you the results of each of these steps. So the inserted notes is defined as that file name. So you can see it's it's gotten to the insertion point. Where do you want to insert the block? So it's asking me as an end user, where is that point going to be? So I click in here, and then we come back into the script, and now you can see it calls TNO2. So it'll jump to TNO2, which is what I said it'll do. 
it'll go through and add the layers, set all the layers up, and you just all I'm doing is pressing F8 every time. And now we insert that block, and we clear any errors, and we end the routine. And there it is. Okay, so all I'm going to do is delete that. Now you can see that I had to zoom extents for that. Now we can also come in here and uh, zoom extents. This drawing dot okay so once I've inserted it I've just told it to zoom extents and you can see it comes in here so I can do that all day every day if I just zoom around if I play with that drawing there come in here and then click play put the point in and then it does zoom extents okay so that means you don't have to put this in I've just put that in just for the sake of this demonstration uh, ultimately I'm assuming you probably put this on a, on something that already has a sheet so you won't need to zoom extents but because we're just clicking anywhere uh, I've thrown that zoom extents in there so I'm just going to take that back out and that is the finished routine so same thing I, I come in here Okay, oh. so there it is. So this part, this utility, this get point is what you want to do for users when they want to insert, um, when you want the user to, to be requested for an insertion point. So when you go through and do the, the testing for this, make sure you watch the AutoCAD screen as well because it will be prompting you. Otherwise, you might think that there's an error, which uh, obviously there isn't because um, you, don't, you don't need to. All right, so hopefully you've learned a little bit more on VBA and AutoCAD. So thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. But please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos. And I'll see you tomorrow to compile all these into some commands. Uh, and then that way you can put all of those into a menu file. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. See you later.